Yo, what is going on, guys? It is Sam or Burns, and welcome back to the Sacramento King <laughs> Association. Sorry, I'm still a little sick. Um, and on that note, I just want to say that is the main reason I have not been posting. Is I was really sick and I had a really bad cough, and I just could not do commentaries. I actually have uh, a couple more Kings Association videos edited. I just haven't been able to commentate them because I haven't been able to sit down and talk for a for a period of time without coughing uncontrollably, but I'm able to do that now. So we're back. We're playing the Utah Jazz. Uh, we're 21 and 29, I believe it said, and we're you know trying to improve. We're, this doesn't look to be as a playoff team right now, but you see Tyreek Evans going to pass over to Cousins, who's going to pass over to Avery Bradley, who's going to hit the three right there for Sacramento's first bucket. Tyreek going to miss that, but Avery Bradley getting the offensive rebound. Who's going to pass out to DeMarcus Cousins over to Tyreek Evans. And um, again, I, trade deadline's coming up. And Tyreek Evans is a name that's going to be servicing quite a bit. At least from uh, my side of things. Because I do not like playing with Tyreek. He's just not my kind of player. He's just... He, he, he really doesn't fit what I'm trying to do here in Sacramento. So Tyreek Evans is going to be my main priority. I'm going to uh, mainly be looking to trade him uh, at the trade deadline. Uh, so I'll have him for a few more games, but this this is most likely going to be the last episode you will see of uh, Tyreek Evans in a Kings uniform. So you see Avery Bradley with the ridiculous fadeaway there. He's got 10 points here early in the first quarter. But, yeah, I've been really sick, and I just have not really been able to post. I mean, it's it sucks. And, yeah, but I just want to, again, say a few things. Uh, thank you for continually supporting this series because I've gotten a lot of support on it and I want to post it uh, as much as I can. And with regards to NCAA, NCAA Football 14 coming out, I know that most of you know I'm going to be focusing on that quite a bit on my channel. So uh, what's going to happen with the Kings Association, I don't quite, I really don't quite know. Uh, what I'm going to do with it because I have a lot of series planned uh, for, for NCAA 14. Obviously, I got that dual dynasty with uh, Straight Out of Boston that we'll, we'll have a commentary explaining that soon. I'll have some Ultimate Team, I'll have a Road to Glory, and I'll have my online dynasty. So that's a lot of series right there uh, just off of NCAA 14, NCAA 14. So obviously, we're going to, or at least I'm going to have to make a decision on what to do with the Kings Association. I know it's gotten a lot of support so far. <coughs> Excuse me. But, um, you know, I just haven't... This, this round of sports games is starting to bore me. Like, I've been bored out of my mind lately trying to, you know, figure out what to do up until the release of NC14. So, um, this will most likely be what I'll be doing. But... I'm back. Um, you know, school's almost out for me. I get out on the seventh, which is awesome. It's almost summer, which means more videos for you guys. Um, I'm not gonna focus all on videos. You see, Chuck Hayes in the jump shot. I had to put that in there. Chuck Hayes doing stuff. Of course, you got to put it in the video. But you see, we're up 28-19 after the first quarter. But you know, summer's coming. It's it's gonna be awesome. I'm, I got a lot of plans uh, for NCAA 14. Madden 25 probably won't be too big on my channel. Uh, I want to be an NCAA guy. I've said that uh, quite a bit lately. As you can see, Avery Bradley going to miss, but Cousins is going to get the rebound and the putback. He's got six points here in uh, we're early in the second quarter. But I'm 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 having a lot of fun with the Kings Association. I still got a lot of episodes to edit. Uh, while I was sick, I played a lot of Kings Association, so I am pretty far in uh, pretty far in actually. I got a lot of episodes that I got to edit. So, uh, you know, I'm going to try to get these out as often as I can. Again, I know how much I know how much my subscribers love this. I know how much you guys love this. So I'm going to keep trying to post this uh, up until, at least up until NCAA 14 comes out. With, so, with yeah, with regards to how long this series is going to go, at least until NCAA 14 comes out. Um, it, you know, if it stops there, it stops there. And you guys can enjoy some college football content on my channel. But... Getting back to the gameplay, we're absolutely dominating the Utah Jazz. We're up 14 early. And Jimmer for debt. What a first half he's having. He's got 15 points here at the half. Great first half from Jimmer, who's uh, providing a spark off the bench. 15 points. We're shooting 59% to the tune of 58 points. A 58-42 lead at the half. See Isaiah Thomas, a pick and roll with DeMarcus Cousins. Who's going to go up with the dunk. He's got 8 points, 5 boards here in the second half. 
See, Tyreek Evans, again, that's what I just can't stand about Tyreek. He can't really hit a jump shot. It's not consistent. I know he had that game where he had 30-something points and he was hitting jump shots, which is nice uh, when he does hit his jump shots, but it's not consistent whatsoever. And I know Tyreek's really good at driving to the basket, but he, again, he's just not what I want here in Sacramento. So I'll probably be looking, I'm most likely going to be looking to trade him at the trade deadline. We'll see what happens. But you see Cousins in the post, the pump fake, and he's just going to go up with a little lefty hook shot. He's got 10 points, playing well so far. 69-50, a 19-point lead as Isaiah Thomas is going to get the steal, and Tyreek going to pick it up and dunk it down. 21-point lead, 71-50 to here in the second half. This game is an absolute blowout. So at least the Kings are showing they can put together a solid game, solid four quarters, uh, absolutely dominating the Utah Jazz here at home, which is... Uh, maybe a good sign for the uh, for things to come. Maybe these players will actually start developing. You see Jason Thompson with the dunk. He's got 10, 10, and 5. Hashtag triple-double alert. Five more assists, and he's still got a quarter and a half to go. Tyreek Evans going to get that one to go. He's got, I don't know how many points, a good amount of points. And you see Marcus Thornton just going to pull up and hit that. He's got six points. Shooting 10 of 17 from downtown, which is very good. 85-65 here. And you see Jimmer. Providing that spark off the bench that uh, sometimes is really hard to find. 87-65, and Jason Thompson is on that triple-double watch. He's got 10-10 and 6, I believe. We'll see if he can do that. So, 22-point lead hanging into the, heading into the fourth quarter. Obviously, this game is pretty much over, but uh, we're going to look to close it out. So, I started dribbling the ball up with Jason Thompson. He's got 10-11 and 8. Over to Isaiah Thomas. He's 10-11 and 9. One assist away from the triple-double for Jason Thompson. So, Avery Bradley over to Isaiah Thomas. Probably should have taken that shot. Going to give it to Jason Thompson. He's going to kick it out to Avery Bradley for the triple-double. He's got it. 10, 12, and 10. Jason Thompson with the triple-double. It's not a very impressive LeBron-like triple-double, but it's a triple-double nonetheless. Playing a great game. Is Marcus Thornton going to get the steal and take it coast-to-coast? -coast? alley -oop it to himself and dunk it. I don't think I meant to do that, but who cares? Marcus Thornton's got 11 points, 99-76. Up to Patrick Patterson, who's going to miss. But Chuck Hayes, offensive rebound, putback. Chuck Hayes is doing stuff. Four points, five boards here to the tune of a 25-point lead. Up to Chuck Hayes again. Chuck Hayes, six points, five boards. Chuck Hayes is doing stuff. It's amazing. But uh, Ennis Cantor, you see, going to pull up there, and he's going to miss, get his own rebound, and put it back. Great play there from Ennis Cantor. But it doesn't really matter. Marvin Williams is going to lose the ball there as Mike Miller is going to pass up to Marcus Thornton who's going to pass over to Patrick Patterson. Corner three. Got it. Kings 111. Jazz 84. This game is all but over with about 15 seconds left. Carroll basically double dribbled there but it was a nice little shot. And that will do it. 113-86 as Mo Williams is going to miss. So a great win for the Kings here. They improved to 22-29, and 29, uh, which is not going to end up being good enough for a playoff spot most likely. Maybe we do make a run. Uh, you know, We'll have to see if we can put together some wins. But honestly, I'd rather have a lottery pick. Uh, I'd rather have you know, a, a chance at getting a, a franchise player to go along Cousins. Uh, you know for the long ride. So anyways, I'm gonna thank you guys for watching uh, Don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and uh, you know leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed There you go. Jason Thompson player of the game with that triple double. So yeah uh, Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time